Look at that STP pour out. Holy cow, that's like pouring out soggy toilet paper. Hopefully it uh, will eventually leave the bottle. Imagine that mixing in with your oil. What will your viscosity change be like? Will it ever end? Going, going, going. Hey folks, Mac D here, and I do have oil testing for the additive STP oil treatment, otherwise known as soggy toilet paper. That's right. This stuff is the equivalent of soggy toilet paper coming out of it. We called that when I was a kid. We called it that. And the best thing I can say STP as a seven-year-old is, is we bought a bottle of that stuff, me and my friends, and we'd all share it because we'd just slap it onto our bike chains because that stuff never fell off. It never spread out. It just stuck there. It's almost like putting grease on there with, with a pourable grease is what it came out to. And a seven-year-old, a good lubricated bicycle chain was important. But we're going on to motors now, many years later, and I've done an oil test on this STP oil treatment. And uh, basically, you can buy this stuff for 15 fluid ounces at $8.50 on Amazon. Now, if you figure 15 fluid ounces for a gallon, holy cow, the per gallon price of this stuff is astronomical. Is it efficient? Is it worth the money? You got to ask yourself, because after all, if you figure out what a gallon of this stuff costs, you probably wouldn't buy it. Anyway, I did the testing, and the testing uh, showed that it was too thick for the lab to test. The viscosity was in outer space. It was so thick they couldn't even test it, but they did find out that it did have a strange TBN number in the ultimate end. And as you can see, I have personally been to the laboratory myself to visit them, so they're basically saying thanks for stopping in. Now, if you didn't know who makes STP, all you have to do is go out and uh, find out that I believe it's Armorall products. That's right. Armorall STP is pretty much what it all is. But, you know, STP oil treatment says it fights friction. Yeah, go figure. Uh, all oils do that, I thought. But uh, contains zinc anti-wear agent ZDDP. Now, we're going to discover whether or not this is a valid claim. Because, you know what? It's like the blended oils. How much of what does it contain? And when we go through the actual uh, testing, you'll find out whether or not there is truth in marketing on this. Okay? And uh, that's something else. And uh, it's, it's got that anti-wear zinc in there, but let's go ahead. And uh, it does provide a thicker cushion between moving engine bars. You betcha if the viscosity is unmeasurable, it's practically like shooting a grease gun in your engine uh, drive, you know, valve train. You know, you might as well just go and buy some lithium grease and just start squeezing it in there with the grease gun. Because that's about the equivalent of what you're doing here. But anyway, we have zero parts per <laughs> million aluminum. We have zero parts per million chrome. We have zero iron. We have zero copper. We have zero lead. We have zero tin. We have zero molybdenum. We have zero nickel. We have zero manganese. We have zero silver. <laughs> we have zero titanium. We have one part per million of the potassium. We have zero boron. We have two parts per million silicon. We have zero parts per million sodium. And we have 17 parts per million calcium. And we have one part per million magnesium. And the kicker, phosphorus, is at seven parts per million. And then that zinc, ZDDP, da da, drum roll, eight parts per million, folks. They weren't lying. They put ZDDP in it. Eight parts per million. Now, let me put it this way. Uh, eight parts per million is nothing. Really, nothing. Uh, are they being truthful in what they're saying? Yes, they do have ZDDP in it. But is it enough to even make a difference? Eight parts per million. Yeah, that big one with all the zeros behind it. Do you think that's going to have any effect at all? I don't know. Uh, but that's what they got in there. Barium is zero. So, essentially, 
Uh, this is like eating an empty calorie, uh, I don't know, what do they call those things? Rice cake. Yeah. It might fill you up, but it has absolutely no nutritional value. <laughs> anyway, the SUS viscosity is at 210 degrees Fahrenheit. Hmm. Couldn't measure it. But, they do have the CST viscosity at 300, and uh, at 40 degrees Celsius, they have the viscosity at... 3,700 at 40 degrees Celsius for the CST viscosity. That's probably why they couldn't measure it. You know, the stuff came out about like grease. So uh, that is something interesting. They do have the flash point at, uh, let's see, the lab test has had a different flash point, but uh, the flash point here by STP is stated at 275 degrees Fahrenheit so not quite sure what exactly is is going on with that being that the lab has a flash point at 415 for the flash point so uh, the lab did the test they came up with 415 and then the uh, STP says it's 275 I'm gonna go with the lab because I saw their testing I'm, I'm pretty sure that they are accurate on that so uh, we'll just go from there as far as that goes. But that's what they're saying the flash point is. Now, the total base number that the lab tested this at is 6.4. And um, I don't know, 6.4. They couldn't tell why it was 6.4. There's no additives that would lead up to being a 6.4. But whatever it is, it has a 6.4. Which I will give STP numero uno for TBN. It has got the highest TBN of all the additives I've checked So you know, at this point. So that's a good one on them. Uh, it, that means it contributes to the TBN, whereas the others are actually uh, diluting the TBN and making it go lower. So, uh, you know, give them, give them kudos on that. But, man, imagine you starting your car in the wintertime with this stuff, you know, making your viscosity jump from 5W20 to... 30W60, you know, I don't know. I don't know if I'd go that route. I, I'm probably exaggerating what the TBN would be, but uh, yeah. Uh, this, uh, this STP oil treatment does have a rather hefty price when you think of it as a per gallon rate. Uh, is it the ch most expensive? Uh, not necessarily, but it darn sure isn't cheap. Uh, viscosity, like I said, was so thick it was unable to test it. I'm sure if they wanted to, they could but uh, they stay within their standard window of testing stuff and they don't really run across stuff like this too often. Uh, thing is, did STP uh, overstate their claims? They said they have the ZDDP zinc additive, but my gosh, it's so minute, is it actually worth it? Uh, but basically, no information for this group of oil. It, it could be a two, it could be a one, it could be a three. I doubt at all it's even near a four. And I'm also doubting it could be a three, uh, but uh, they say it can be used with uh, basically any oil. So you go for there. It's your engine. But basically, if you're using this in your engine, uh, then it's assumed you're trying to extend the last RPMs of its life before you junk it or replace the engine. There's only one reason you're using this stuff. Uh, you might be using it for your bicycle chain. You might be using it for other things. But uh, maybe, maybe uh, pressing in a bearing to give a little lubrication. Uh, you know, it has other uses that I'm going to say it probably good for. Uh, some might even use it for engine assembly to make sure everything has a good lubrication on startup when, when you're working on engines and things like that. Uh, you know, that, that might be another use for it. Uh, but it is definitely not something I would put in my engine. Okay, I, I don't. If I need thicker viscosity, I go up weight in oil, and that way I know what I got. Here, you're you're doing chemistry stuff, and you're not sure what your viscosity is going to be at the end, based on how much oil you're adding to it and everything else. So, uh, not much to this, folks. This STP oil treatment is uh, definitely not going to be on my list to throw in my engine. But hey, this is your decision. I merely provide you the data to make your decision, and uh, you know go from there i i can tell you nothing else like subscribe this channel mac t ford edge youtube that's right subscribe watch the videos 
and also my fee at the floor today. I'm having a great day. I want you to have a great day too, along with Mercy Grill and her one-liners and a band of one playing some great music. Thank you for watching Mac T's videos and remember to like and subscribe. This is a Mercy Go production.